Hello, my name is Stephen Mayu, and this is my video series on practical JavaScript where I walk you through the algorithm challenges at freecodecamp.com. In this video, we're going to do Map the Debris. It's the second to last challenge in the advanced section and the second to last challenge of all of the algorithm challenges at freecodecamp.com. So I'm very excited to be doing this one with you. And uh, well, enough small talk, let's get to work and understand what we have to do. So we need to return a new array that transforms the element's average altitude into their orbital periods. Okay, so uh, we have one argument, an array, and uh, this is gonna contain an array of objects. And uh, you can see right here that uh, for the first one, it, we only have uh, one object. But if you look down, um, there's a, a second example, and we have actually one, two, and three objects, okay? And uh, we need to transform that. And you can see here, this is an array of one object, and we're gonna transform it. Uh, we're gonna return the name, uh, but instead of returning the average altitude, we're gonna return a property called orbital period. Same thing goes for, for this one. Um, so we're going to have an array of objects, and we're going to return the name, which is already given to us, and we need to use this average altitude value in order to calculate the orbital period. So we're only going to use the, um, the you know, orbital period, and we don't have to return, in fact, we cannot return the average altitude property that was given to us, so we have to delete that. Um, okay, so... Uh, they give you this link to orbital periods right here on Wikipedia. I highly recommend that you take a look at that. Um, and, uh, you know, they give you, a, you know, they tell you what it is. Basically, the orbital period is the time taken for a given object to make one complete orbit around another object. And um, you, you basically have, um, you have like two uh, different um uh, we have like a lot of different formulas for this, and I think it's going to be uh, this one. Yeah, it's going to be this one that, that you want, and it, it tells you, okay, so like the orbital period is like 2 times pi and over the square root of you know, a to the third power over g times m1 plus m2, and uh, there's there's an explanation of it over here, so I, I definitely recommend that you do that, um, and you know just kind of read through it and understand it, um, and that's going to help you out a lot. So I'm going to show you two ways to do this. Um, we've already gotten you know a couple of the variables that we need. So uh, this is the Earth's radius, and that's part of the um, part of what we need for the um, to calculate the orbital period. And we also have the uh, GM value, which is, I, I think, like the gravitational value or something like that. The gravitational constant. Okay, there you go. So anyway, um, let's get down to it. Um, so what I see is uh, we have an array and we have an object. Um, and, and we want to, you know, we, we want to do something uh, with that, with that object. Okay, so... Um, I mean, we can we can use we can certainly use the map method for this, or even reduce, um, and you know we can also use for each. Uh, for my solution, I'm going to show you uh, how to solve it using reduce because I really like the reduce method as well as for each. Uh, so let's get down to it. I'm going to show you how to do it with um, with the reduce method uh, first. So return. Um, I'm going to say array dot reduce. A function. We need the accumulator and the, um, the, the, the object in the array. And I want to return an array, so I'm going to give that in a default value of uh, empty brackets for an empty accumulator. Okay, and uh, basically um, I need to create the formula in a, in a variable, so I'm going to say bar, I'm going to say um, orb period. And uh, just to save time, I'm going to go ahead and just paste that in right there. All right, so we got our GM constant from up above, okay? And this is the Earth radius, okay? All right, plus, whoops, uh, 
let's see. I copied this from, from somewhere else. That should be object right here. Okay, so basically um, we're iterating through the uh, through all of the objects and accessing their average altitude. So it's the earth radius plus the average altitude to the power of three divided by the, um, uh, the gravitational constant. And then we square root all of that. And then we multiply it uh, by pi times two. And then we're gonna just use the round method to, to make it like a nice even number. Okay, so there we go. We have like this uh, very long and complicated, uh, you know, uh, equation, but that's basically what we're representing right here. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to create um, a new uh, a new entry in the accumulator. So I'm going to say accumulator dot push. Okay, and I'm going to give it a new um, a new uh, like you know object. So uh, we're going to give it the name. So I'm going to say the name property is equal to the object dot name value. And then uh, we need to give it the um, orbital period property. So I'm going to say orbital period. Yep, that's right. And um, that's going to be equal to orb period. And then remember to always return the accumulator. Otherwise, this will not work. And if I run it, presto, walk on that sunshine. That's amazing. Woo. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just copy this so um, we can um, uh, use this for later. Let me just paste it in my code editor just in case I um, copy something else. All right, so I just showed you how to do this using the reduce function. I still got about eight minutes, so let's do it again with the for each method. Okay, so for each, um, it, it doesn't return a new array uh, for each. It doesn't, uh, I, mean, I mean, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't return a new array. It doesn't reduce an array to a single value. It, it just takes like each item in an array and it does something with it. That's all it does. That's literally all it does. And I just uh, remember I'm gonna need my equation again for this. So copy that. All right. So basically uh, let's go ahead and let's say uh, our result Let's just make that an empty array, okay? And I'm going to say array dot for each function, okay, object, okay? And for each object, uh, okay, I am going to, I'm going to take that object and, uh, well, I still need my, you know, special, um, we still need my special value, so orb period equals this. Okay, that's right there. And then for each object, um, I'm going to uh, add a new key. So I'm just going to say obj that orbital period equals orb period. Okay, so I'm just assigning um, a new um, a new property on this object right here. Okay, that's all I'm doing. It doesn't already exist, so we're creating it. And I don't need this anymore, so I'm just going to delete that. So I'm gonna say delete obj.avg alt. Okay, and then, um, yeah, basically uh, once we do that, oh, I, you know, I don't even think I need uh, I don't even think I need this anymore. Yeah, because I'm just uh, kind of mutating something already in place. So let me see if this will work. Okay, yeah, because I've got my array of objects and I'm adding to it and then just mutating it directly. Yeah, I don't need a result uh, variable. Okay, let's just see if this works. And yep, it sure does. So uh, I'm not using reduce to you know mutate it as it is. I'm just mutating the array of objects on the fly. And uh, remember, if a property you know, doesn't already exist in an object and we're doing an assignment like this, it's just gonna create the uh, property like on the fly. And then this is something that uh, I don't think I've ever shown you in this uh, video series yet, but if you wanna delete 
like permanently delete an object uh, or delete a property from an object, you just use the delete keyword and uh, that's it. It's as simple as that. And uh, okay, so this is just changing. We're adding a property and then we're deleting a property. Um, there, there's no reason to, um, to do anything else. And then we just return that array. I wonder, I don't think I can. Let me just see, can I do this? Does this work? No, that doesn't work because for each doesn't return anything. It just does something. All right. Okay, and then that will work. All right, walk on that sunshine. There it is. All right, cool. So um, that's that's all we have to you know do for this challenge. Again, um, you know definitely check out the orbital period, and you got a lot of different equations right here. But um, the the one that you want to uh, take a look at right here. I believe, yeah, it's going to be uh, this one, two bodies orbiting each other, and yet you got the gravitational constant multiplied by these two values right here. Okay, the, that's the sum of the masses of the two bodies. That's under um, the a to the power of 3, square root of that, times 2 times pi. And that uh, seems to, to get us exactly what we want. Okay, so uh, that's all that I, I wanted to show you in this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for improvement, please let me know in the comments below. And uh, that's it. Okay, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. In the last video, we're almost done. So congratulations if you made it this far. Okay, see you next time. Goodbye. Boop.